are here uh, continuing our visit to the Wolfhawk Park uh, in, in Germany with Volkswagen and we're with Tosten who is one of the main uh, persons in charge of the tour of the factory. So thank you for having us here, Tosten. You're welcome. So this is uh, not only one of the largest uh, factories in the world, but also it's an historic place here in Germany, right? That's correct. The factory was built in 1938 before the Second World War broke out to manufacture the Beetle here in Wolfsburg. But of course, before any Beetle could have been produced, the Second World War was started. The factory was forced to produce military equipment in the first place. It was rebuilt when it was destroyed in 1945. It was rebuilt by the British authorities. British military government was rebuilding this place. The factory was operated by Major Ivan Hurst at that time, building first about 20,000 beetles on behalf of the British forces yeah. before the civil beet production was started. That was December 1945. Yeah. And since then uh, it's become, uh, again, uh, one of the largest uh, automobile factories in the world. That's correct. The factory in Wolfsburg, if you count this factory as one factory under one roof, is the largest automobile producing factory in the world. Yeah. So we just did a tour like an hour and a half and uh, we just saw like 1% of it. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, so there are now more than 900 dif different departments at this factory. So to see them all would mean to stay here for at least four weeks. Uh, that means the 1% that we saw was of course the production of what we call our bread and butter car, which is the Golf. So we are making here in Wolfsburg approximately 2,200 Golf a day on behalf and order of a certain customer. So all those cars are pre ordered already by one certain customer. Well, that's amazing. And the, the rate of production is incredible. So it's like 19 seconds? Uh, uh, every 19 seconds a car goes out of the factory? That's correct. Uh, there are four assembly lines at this factory. Two for the Golf, one for Turan and Tiguan, and a fourth line only for the SUV Tiguan. So um, considering the fact that there are 19 and a half hours of production time a day and we are assembling almost 4,000 cars during the time, that means that that every 18 seconds a finished car leaves the production of this factory. Yeah. The amazing numbers, uh, starting with the amount of people who work here. We're in Wolfsburg, the city of Wolfsburg, that is around 100, uh, 120,000 people, and half of them work here. Yeah, that's very interesting. I mean, uh, the town of Wolfsburg did not exist before the factory was built here. The factory became known as the automotive factory nearby the town of Fallersleben. Yeah. Hoffmann von Fallersleben was writing the national hymn, that's quite an old uh, town, Fallersleben, but the town of Wolfsburg simply grew by the employees working for this factory. I do come myself from Brunswick, which is not far from here. Brunswick is already twice the size of Wolfsburg, but since Wolfsburg is a very young town, it's today 130,000 people. I think it is not bad for a young town like this. Yeah. So um, you're in the middle, I mean, you're always uh, improving the factory, adding things and uh, modifying things, but like, so in the historic part of it, you cannot touch the, the buildings. Right? That's correct. All those buildings are protected by law on a governmental issue which is called German heritage. That means these are listed monuments which we might not touch on the outside. We might not remove the workshops, we might not extend them. So even the latest technology has to fit somehow inside these protected workshops, which is quite an enormous challenge for those departments planning all that. Yeah. So one of the, uh, the additions that to the production line now is the Eagle and the GTE, right? That's correct. The GTE is the very first Golf plug-in hybrid. Ever since five weeks we are manufacturing now the Golf GTE in Wolfsburg. And of course we're very proud since all those cars, the electric Golf, the GTE, the um, fuel stratified injection, the uh, TDI engines are all getting manufactured on the same assembly line. That's the advantage that we have today, today with the modular system, the modular transverse matrix, which is going to be used in the future for all mass-produced cars that the Volkswagen Group, where the engine is simply assembled transverse in direction to the driver's direction. So that means that uh, here in the production line that we just visited, you, we, we saw like uh, live, uh, left hand right uh, driving car, right Le left hand uh, driving car, all in the, in the same production line and, and the computers and robots and everything like know exactly what's going on. Yeah, that's correct. Um, a friend of mine used to run the visitors department in Hanover at Volkswagen Commercial Plant, uh, pl uh, plant and he's Brit and he told me that there are 53 ride steering nations worldwide and all those nations get served here locally from Wolfsburg. Wow, that's amazing. 
So um, even though this is a, a very industrial uh, uh, factory, uh, there are like some little touches of nature here and very important uh, with the environment, right? That's correct. Um, there is, for example, one project to the north of the factory that was a renaturing of uh, the factory. A project to renaturize um, this area to give the nature a bit back of what we took from the nature when the factory was built here. There we are simply creating a very certain area with very old um, buffaloes, for example, um, living there. So um, that's a renaturizing project. In addition to that, we are running in the factory a project which is called the Energy Way, a part of the commitment of the factory to save energy during the car production already, because until 2018, during eight years only, we want to save 25% of the energy consumption for the production of every car. Can you give us some examples of how are you achieving that? Uh, the key word is recuperation. That was an example that we took from the Golf Electric. The Electric Golf is breaking whenever you are not uh, having your foot on the on the throttle. So um, it breaks down to regain energy every time you are uh, drive into a crossing for example. Okay. So uh, in the same way we are breaking down the production to regain energy. That's for example the braked gravity carrier which is a conveyor below the ceiling transporting the freight downwards at an angle of 1% on its own gravity and just like a dynamo it gets braked to regain energy during this process. There is for example an elevator every time the body shell needs to be lowered to the beginning of a production line. This elevator moves down the body on its gravity to regain energy as well. So at the end of the line every seventh turn up again for the body shell is for free. <laughs> Very intelligent, very very ingenious. Thing. So let's go back a little bit to the uh, way that you produce cars here, and uh, it's uh, non-stop here, 24/7. Even though the production line is for 19 and a half hours, there's something else happening during that downtime. That's correct. There's service maintenance during the day already. Several times a day, we're stopping the car production to do that service. That's a fixed time, which is calculated th through the entire day already by our technicians, mechanics, IT professionals to do service on the machinery and after all we are manufacturing our cars from Sunday evening to Sunday and to Saturday afternoon because from Saturday afternoon there's the reset of production before the next production week then gets started finally. So basically you never, there's always something happening here. That's right, it's like New York City, it's uh, <laughs> the city that never sleeps. Never yeah. sleep. So uh, being here next to the auto stand that we visited yesterday, uh, people can come and visit the factory too? That's correct. Today it's possible not just for customers picking up their cars, but simply for everybody it's possible to plan a factory tour at the Volkswagen factory in Wolfsburg. Either the specialized factory tour, especially for universities, for suppliers, for journalists just like you are, but also for any uh, VIP guests, but also for private purpose. So if you are living somewhere nearby and you're having yourself some, some private guests, you might reserve a factory tour for us for a specialized factory tour around the plant. Yeah, and then you, you see really amazing things here in the factory. For example, there's obviously a lot, a lot of people working here. Don't worry, this is a factory, so the noise is part of the, of the story. That's right. So, um, you see a lot of people working here, but there's also a lot of anim automation, automat automatization uh, process, right? Like, you see a lot of robots here. It's like science fiction movie. Well, that's right. I mean, it's uh, worth automating steps to to safen the process. So uh, it wouldn't be worth investing a lot of money to automate the processes if we would assemble like 50, 60 Golf a day. But when assembling about 2,200 units of the Golf a day, it makes sense to save the process, to avoid any malfunctions. So uh, especially where we need employees who are trained in a very certain way, you might also have the effect that the employee might get sick all of a sudden. If that employee is not present, we've got a great pr problem to yeah. replace him. So at these processes, we are automating the production just like we saw it today, simply to uh, improve quality and to reach a standardized quality level during the car production. Yeah, and also not only the robots, there's like this uh, conveyor system that, that goes on, on its own and the little trains that nobody's uh, driving or like 
obviously someone is controlling behind the scenes, right? That's right. Um, the root trains are used for the future of logistical transfer in the production. The root train makes it possible to unload material without the assistance of a forklift truck. It is a project of the factory. The forklift truck free factory means that we are transporting the freight absolutely just in time to the places of work. We're keeping the storage of parts at the place of work rather low since we do not have to wait anymore for a forklift yeah. truck to unload the freight and that saves us valuable space at the limited space of this protected and listed monument today. It's amazing how, how many things uh, happen here at all time and it's it's really great. So finally we have like a minute. If people want to come and visit here, where should they look for information and how the, can they go and arrange a, a visit to the factory? Well there is a uh, Volkswagen website where you might also some find some additional information about the factory tour in Wolfsburg. There's also a link to all factories here in Germany for to reserve a factory tour. And you might reserve the factory tour, especially the specialized factory tour directly on the email address werktour at volkswagen.tde oh, uh, Very easy. So we're going to post it on our website also so our fans can have it there. Well, just want to thank you very much for, for the visit and we're going to keep enjoying and now we're going to go out of the next uh, step of the visit here and we're going to actually go and drive some of the cars that just go out of the factory here, right? Alright, enjoy the most late. Great meeting you. Have a nice time. All the best for you for the future and uh, until next time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.